Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to local food banks. If you want to help out the duck adventure, the link below, 50 ducks on a hot tub, you can buy one of these t-shirts, you can donate monthly, you can make one-time donation. And the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it guys. Good morning everybody. It's August something, I don't know, it's, but I know it's really early. Coyotes here. Must have left the ducks are this end of the uh, pen again. Well guys, no sign of him. And this is the direction he comes from. So this is probably a really dark video. But that's what they were doing when I woke up. They were all clumped up. I heard the noise like they usually make and they woke me up. And this time I didn't turn any lights on. I, I, I've been basically walking around the house in Braille. Went out the front door, came around the side of the house, behind the barn. Obviously he's left. I think it's like 4.47 or something. Well, there was nothing to shoot at, guys. Thanks for waking me up. <laughs> Look at them. They're all staring at me. Good morning, Doug. <laughs> You're up? Hmm? They see me, they're hitting up. 
All right, I'm going down to the swamp to do a bit of a recon, uh, just to take a look to see, you know, if Mr. Otters are swimming around. Uh, plus, you know, you know, we'll see if Mr. Coyote shows up again. It's been pretty crazy here, actually. Since the, I've been out here this morning, the coyotes come back a couple times, but I've had no luck at all uh, getting a beat on them. It was pretty dark, but it was like I still, like, they were freaking out, uh, and uh, I don't know. I got to come up with something. Um, today maybe lighting or something i don't know i gotta think of something here but i gotta do some more cutting in the swamp too but oh look at this a muscovy that's a new muscovy from this year in the house on top of things that's not a, a muscovy from last year we could start getting uh, some flying action here guys if the young ones are uh, jumping up and stuff all right, I'm gonna go down the swamp, do a quick recon, then I come back and let the ducks out. You can really feel the moisture in the air though. It's supposed to be some pretty good rain today again. Hopefully it holds off until I get the, uh, the remaining of my swamp cutting done. On the right hand side of the creek, I also cut the bulrushes back about another two more feet. So she's pretty open here. I think we're going to have to uh, go through some more retraining on the ducks to get them to do the morning rush. This, uh, a little run-in with the otters has really screwed their brains up. But I don't see anything down here. Oh yes, yesterday guys, I, I totally f I skipped my mind. I was so busy cutting. But there was a, a big turkey vulture that was hanging around the property all day. And actually he was flying right above me here. Which would make sense if the, the otters died in the swamp their smell would be attracting uh, the turkey vultures because he was like they drove Doug nuts uh, this turkey vulture was you know like really low like maybe a hundred hundred and fifty feet off the ground and it just kept circling and circling the swamp so maybe you know I did hit the you know the two otters I'm really hoping I did because you know and if I did you know, the one single otter that we left would leave. But the ducks were freaking yesterday a couple of times like there was an otter here, so. But the fact that, you know, we haven't seen an otter since the shooting is telling me that it's left. Because if it was getting hungry, uh, you know, it would do like they did that day, you know, that they would be coming right out of the creek to get the ducks. Because the ducks haven't been down here. Actually, the ducks haven't been in the water since that day. They've come down, got close to the creek, but can't turn around and come back. I'm going to go out in the dock, take a quick walk. Take a look and then we'll let the ducks out. Oh, I hope it holds off on raining. I want to get the swamp finished. I'm on a roll. No sign of that little wood duck this morning. Absolutely nothing down here, guys. It's like barren. Actually, there's no birds, nothing. And it's actually pretty spooky quiet, other than the highway sound. Well, I don't see anything. I've been down here for about 10 minutes here, just standing here quietly. Let's let the ducks out. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. And enjoy the show.
It looks like coast is clear. We're going to let the ducks out. I'm not going to force them to the lake. I'm just going to let them. If they want to do the yard again, I'll just let them. My lawn can use the cutting anyways. There's still some spots they've missed. So let's let these ducks out. It looks like they're waiting for me to open the gate. They seem to be interested in the lawn again. They're doing a fantastic job of uh, cutting it for me though. I'm really happy uh, the last couple days actually. They've cleaned her right up, trimmed it back. What a shame yesterday uh, with that um, tarp though. Man, I was so, like, so careful taking the tarp off the uh, straw pile. And, uh, you know, the eggs fell out onto the gravel. And uh, I was so, as soon as I saw the blood, uh, I was like, I knew right away. And sure enough, you know, six out of the seven eggs had the young, or I mean young, but uh, they obviously were young. But they still had, you know, the, the ducklings were alive inside. Just sucked. Because they would have been born, uh, you know, within the next two weeks. We would have had some fall ducklings. And actually, there's her right there. That's her. I can tell by the way she's walking around. She's sad. She lost her nest. I don't know how she had her nest. Oh, the wind. I don't know how she had her nest. Uh, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, I don't know how she had to, sorry guys, I, I don't know how she had her nest configured because I, I lifted the tarp up so gingerly and it, uh, you know, it, it just, it, well, the rotten, there was a bale of straw that was completely soaked that, that fell apart when I lifted the, uh, the bale uh, or the tarp up. Okay, it looks like we got a rush going somewhere here. Okay, we might have the rest of the lake. had a technical difficulty a, a piece of my uh, tripod just fell off I don't think they're going I think they're just gonna hang around down here that's what it's looking like I 
know they're really interested in that area that I cut yesterday over there. And they're going back over there. It doesn't look like they're too focused. We're gonna have to retrain them. I know it. They've uh, they're, they they've had such a, a stressful and traumatic experience uh, of the creek. You know, now they're just staying away from it. Last night, though, when I did cut, at the end of the day, a bunch did go down to the water, but everything set them off, and they just kept running out of the water. Or not, they they were getting they weren't getting in the water. They were getting to the edge of it, and then anything uh, at all was set. He actually, the killdeers were uh, setting them off, and they were coming back. I'm going to go have a coffee, guys, and I'm going to fix my tripod that just fell apart. Well, almost everybody came back out of the swamp. They'd rather hang around the yard. I got some retraining to do, I think. First, we're going to get the swamp all cut, and then uh, we'll get them going back down there in the groove. That's the only group, and even they're coming back now. But nothing has spooked them. It's just they're not interested in being down uh, in the swamp. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends, and enjoy the show. early morning snack <laughs> it was so funny I turned around and these guys they, they were like running into the pan like they were starved little beasts just pounding the food back yep they'd rather be around the yard look at them they're all over the place eating my grass perfect Oh! <laughs> 
Doug's been working like so hard, guys. Oh, it's amazing watching him go. He's uh, and and the thing is, the ducks don't get freaked out when he like you know sometimes he runs over the odd one uh, because he gets too much of a frenzy going after what he's going after. But the ducks basically they they don't get excited at all. Like it's the most bizarre thing watching him work. He runs around and they, you know, they sort of go on their thing. Some of them just keep sleeping. Some go on and just walking around. It's, you know, it's amazing watching him work. And he runs around and the ducks stay calm. They don't get freaked out. Unless he's herding them, uh, they almost don't move. It's unbelievable. But he's watching the swamp right now. Garden these ducks. Doug's lap in the yard. Well, I've got a bit of a, an action-packed uh, morning set for myself here. I've got a little surprise for Mr. Coyote tonight. So what I've done is I've got this uh, temporary uh, construction flood lamp, which I've set up to point over there, which I've got dead Muscovy, which we had a death today, guys. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you earlier, but we did. We had a uh, Muscovy diabolism. So I bought this chain really wrapped around good around his body uh, in four different ways so that uh, it'll give uh, Mr. Coyote some time to munch on it. So the plan is he's going to be munching down on that dead duck and I'm going to uh, get an alarm from the ducks that are going to be losing it because he's so close to the pen and I'm going to come down with the shotgun on that side where it's really dark and I can get a perfect shot at him. And right from here guys is where I'm planning to take the shot from. It's the darkest side of the property. It come from the front of the house and there's the dead duck. So I think that's a pretty good shot. It's about 120 feet. With the buck shot, he'll be toast. I'll be able to walk right around here. He won't know uh, that I'm coming, especially with the ducks losing it. They're going to be covering, uh, they're doing cover noise. He won't see me because it's absolutely pitch dark where I'm standing right now. And that's the plan. And this is what Mr. Coyote is looking back at. And that dark spot is where I'm going to come from with the shotgun. This is the reason I can't come down the left side of the pen. Look how bright it is. The pen light, uh, I, even if I go over there, it means I'd have to go right, like, right into the bush to get around. The barn side is the best place to take the shot. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.